If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. John chapter 14, verses 15 through 17. A young missionary, Herbert Jackson, was given a car to help him in his work. The car was a major asset, but it had one difficulty. It wouldn't start. It wouldn't start without a push or a jump start. Jackson devised a system to cope with the car's inability to start. When he was ready to leave his home, he went to a nearby school and asked permission to bring some of the children out of class to help him push start his car. Throughout the day, he was careful to always park on a hill or leave his engine running when he stopped for short visits. For two years, the young missionary used what he believed was an ingenious method to enable him to use the car. When poor health forced the Jackson family to leave the field, a new missionary arrived to lead the mission. So when Jackson explained to the new missionary his methods for starting the car, the young man stood back, opened the hood, and began inspecting. What are you doing? Dr. Jackson asked. And he said, well, I believe the only trouble here is this loose cable and he gave the cable a twist pushed the switch and the engine roared to life for two years dr jackson had used his own devices and endured needless trouble the power to start the car was there the whole time it just needed to be connected good morning everyone it's the beginning to another great day and i want to begin it with you by taking our first breath together I'm gonna ask you now to take a deep breath, to hold it, and then together we'll exhale. You ready? Let's do this. Breathe in. Hold it. And exhale. That remains my favorite part of the morning with you. Each and every day, it's a reminder that every day is a gift from God, and every breath is a privilege that he offers us. It helps our mind and our heart to be in a humble place so that God can speak to us through his word and to guide us, preparing us for whatever we're gonna confront in this day. So this morning we're talking about the Holy Spirit and we looked at John chapter 14, verses 15 through 17. And there we find that Jesus is speaking to his disciples. He's about to go up to heaven and he tells them, I'm going to give you another helper, another comforter. And what we understand here is that Jesus is our comforter. Jesus is our helper. It's, it's Jesus who gave us new life. It's Jesus who gave himself for us at Calvary, who's redeemed us and he's given us new life. And yet, speaking to his disciples, he knows that he's going to leave them behind, but he will not leave them alone or abandoned. He says, I'm sending you another helper. Who is this other helper? It's the Holy Spirit. He's the comforter that's been promised. So when you analyze this text in the original language, you find that that word for helper or comforter is parakaleto. And basically, it's made up of two Greek words, which means para, to come alongside, and kaleo, which means to call. So parakaleto means someone who's been called along your side. And when we analyze the word comforter, you know, we can get back into the Latin, and we can see that it means con forte, with strength or with power. And when we analyze these words, what Jesus is saying is that he's going to go to be at the right hand of the Father, but we are not abandoned. We're not living on our own. He's sending us someone who's going to come alongside of us, and he's coming with power and strength. And when you think about that word um, comforter, it could, be, it could be also a lawyer, an advocate. And that advocate, in, at least in the time of Jesus, was a family lawyer someone who was very well aware and related to the family. And so whenever there was a problem, whenever there was a need, they would call for the family lawyer. He, because he cared for them, had an interest in them, he would come and represent them. He would come alongside of them. He would use his knowledge and his strength to defend them and to advocate for them. That 
is who Jesus is sending for you and for me. He says, I'm going to be at the right hand of the Father, but don't you worry, you are not alone. I'm sending you another helper, a comforter, an advocate, and a lawyer who's going to come alongside of you with great power and strength. And he's going to walk through every day with you. And so as, as you start your day, I want you to understand that no matter what you're waiting upon in this day, no matter what's waiting on you, you're not alone. The Holy Spirit is with you. And all we need to do is to connect with him. So let's pray together. Close your eyes and bow your heads. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I'm so grateful for this gift of another day. I'm not sure what I'll be facing, so I'm coming to you as the source of my strength, as my counselor, my advocate, my helper, to overcome my weaknesses and to give me the confidence I need to be at my very best. Please, Lord, connect me to your Holy Spirit and in his power, allow him to strengthen me so that I might stand strong in every situation and help me to bring honor and glory to your holy name. I'm so grateful, Lord, that you are my God, that you are my advocate, and that you are the first voice in my day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. This is going to be a good day. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.